Well, hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today we're going to evaluate the Initone AT5888UV. I've owned a few of these radios, really like them. Uh, they're advertised as Part 90 compliant, so if you have a uh, uh, VHF, UHF business class license from the FCC, uh, supposedly you can use these, providing they stay within guidelines. Uh, we're going to run the output and spurious emissions test looking at harmonics on this radio to see what the results are. So uh, anyway, oh, uh, before I forget, you know, if you like my content and want to be notified, please subscribe to us and click on the notify icon. And if you like my videos, click like. Also, any questions or comments regarding any of the videos I do, please leave them in the comments of that video, and I'll try to get back to you if I have a really good answer, okay? With that, let's go ahead and jump into it. Well, hi everybody, Stu AG6AG, and today we're going to fire up the Initone AT5880. 88 UV mobile radio, which is a dual band, a 1.44 and 440 radio that I've used over the last 10 years. I mean, I've had uh, two or three of these. I've had uh, pretty good luck for a Chinese radio. They're still available on Amazon. Um, this radio actually has four power modes, so let's go ahead and jump in and check those. Let's start, of course, with the... Uh, uh, low power, which is 5 watts, and then we'll step up to medium 1 at 10 watts and medium 2 at 25, and after that, we'll finish up with our 50-watt test. Uh, and again, you know, I've used these radios for a while and have been very happy with them, but uh, let's take a look at the results of the power output and the spurious emissions. All right, so I'm all set to run my, uh, oh my goodness, my... Uh, uh, low power test. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Oh, wow. Not bad. We're at uh, 37.3. That's a little over 5 watts. That's great. Let's go ahead and set up and we'll take a look at the medium 1 power for 10 watts. All right. Here we go with 10 watts. There we are, 39.84, 10 watts is 40. That looks pretty good. Let's move on to medium two, huh? All right, medium two, we're going for 25 watts. And <clears throat> here we are at about uh, 43.2 dB. Uh, it should be closer to 44, but I, I think we're we can run with that. Uh, let's go ahead then and move this up to high power. All right, so here we go with our high power test. And, hey, 46.4. That looks pretty doggone close to 50, I'll call it. So, uh, hey, this actually looks like it passes our power test. Let's hurry up and jump on into our... Um, Harmonics test to check for our uh, spurious emissions. All right, so, uh, hey, a couple things about the uh, spurious emissions test using the harmonic test now. I used to have to put all the numbers in and then adjust them for the dB differences on my attenuator to get the correct numbers, or at least close to the correct numbers. I found a method of entering those numbers into the actual SA um, software, right? The Spectrum Analyzer software. So I don't have to do that anymore. We can just look at these numbers that we have down here in the far corner. Uh, what I am going to do is when I get this uh, done, I'm going to try to make this a little bit bigger for you so we can talk about it. But let's go ahead and get the data and then I'll make it bigger and we can look at it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and key it, take a snapshot, and we'll see where we're at. All right, so what do we have? Well, 
What I'm interested in is this line over here, which is the delta. But what I'm going to need to do on this is I am actually going to need to make this a lot bigger so you can see it. So that's what we're going to try to do here. And I'll move this just a little bit up here, give you a better look right next to my head, okay? But what we have here is for the second harmonic, we basically are 60 dB under the uh, fundamental. The third is set, almost 70. The fourth is almost 80. And the fifth is over 80. So from that standpoint on high power, remember we're dealing with a over 25 watt radio. So on five uh, on uh, full power, this thing is within legal ranges, which isn't too bad. Anyway, with that, Let's go into the uh, tale here and talk a little bit about all the things we found. Well, okay. So it passes at full power. And uh, again, I have to remind you that uh, these tests are only for entertainment purposes. We do not pass nor fail any of these systems based on FCC guidelines. We are using our equipment, which may not be giving proper information. So I encourage you, check it yourself, as well as before you purchase or use a radio, make sure you get many different opinions about it. Anyway, with that, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed it. My name's Stu, AG6AG, and 73 to you. Hope to hear you out there on the air.